Hello everybody, meteorologist Hutch Johnson with a quick update on your radar and a forecast check here as there are showers now, but a chance for some stronger storms later. Details are coming up right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and... And here's the facts you need to know to get your evening started along the international border. Garden variety showers drifting eastward through the region. The Northern Valley with the best chance, but look at this much needed rain and Brandon to Winnipeg points south. The Rainy River seeing some scattered showers. Storms firing out to the west as we begin into the evening out in parts of South Dakota. That's where we could see a few strong ones out there. A quick reminder of that severe weather risk for the night tonight. Our area has a chance at seeing a few strong storms. It's a marginal chance, but there is a slight risk, a level two risk on a five level scale of strong thunderstorms with all modes of severe weather possible. Rapid City uh, down to Chadron and on in toward the pier area as we go through the evening hours. Now let's take a look at what's going on temperature wise across our region. It is sizzling hot out there as we go uh, towards your five o'clock hour. Look at this triple digit heat in parts of central South Dakota. 93 Bismarck, 90 Dickinson, 86 for Fargo. Grand Forks at 81 degrees. A closer look in the Red River Valley show you that in Lakes Country we have mid 80s out there for Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls as well. All right, quick look at that forecast to update you on what you can anticipate as we head into your evening hours. I'm going to pull up a radar model here, a future radar model, I should say, that has been handling things the best over the last couple of weeks with our uh, active pattern of weather. The scattered showers we have today drifting along the northern tier as we head toward dinner hour. Not much firing now. It's going to be a late evening event we're talking about as we go into the nighttime hours. If we do see storms forming, it looks like central to eastern North Dakota, they fire up as we go toward the 10 to midnight time frame. Now, most of the rain chances overnight appear to be along the Highway 200 to Highway 2 corridor and points north, locally heavy rain. Overnight, heading into the morning hours, can't rule out some thunder showers forming in this hot, humid air that we have here in the Southern Valley as well, drifting through. So, best chance up north, spotty activity down to the south. For us, our risks of severe weather include some storms with the large hail potential, upwards of an inch and a half in diameter, with gusts gusty winds and isolated storms possibly hitting near 60 miles per hour. Now, the storm chances return as we head into your Tuesday night in central and eastern South Dakota through Minnesota. The Southern Valley is included in that risk of severe weather for then. But here's a quick look at your planning forecast. Overnight temperatures tonight will be down in the 60 to 70 range. Coolest north and west where the wind shifts and becomes northerly. The rest of us with a southerly breeze. Lakes country, 62 for Bemidji, 68 in in Fergus Falls. Temperatures tomorrow will be warm as south, significantly warmer as a matter of fact in South Dakota near 90 there, southern Minnesota near 90 there. That will increase your risk of severe storms that will fire along this line and move off to the south and to the east as we go through the afternoon. And a plain old cooler day up across portions of the northern reaches of North Dakota with low to mid 60s there for afternoon. Temperatures seven day planner shows that cool air punches into the valley and points belong with a few showers on our Wednesday. After that, we're talking about hit and miss thunder through the weekend as a summertime heat returns. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you to get the latest information then your weather when it's going on anytime, anywhere. Use HutchesWeather.com. Thanks for all of the photo uploads that you've shared and thanks for keeping my fine sponsors in mind across the board here heading into the afternoon and evening hours. Hey, have you heard of KAJ Hospitality? They have numerous locations here in the Fargo area and they're wonderful hotels. So go ahead and give them a look. Click on the button, check them out, and they not only are a great place for your family to stay when they come and look, but for your events as well. Whether you have a business function or a wedding to take care of, their facilities are top-notch. Give KAJ Hospitality a call. Let them know that Hutch sent you. For now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. I'll keep you updated as storms fire tonight. But until then, follow on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and stay cool, would you?